That's a pretty good hint, uh, Jack. All right, thanks very much. Uh, there's certainly very little that's private right now for the Tampa socialite Jill Kelly. Uh, she's a link between the David Petraeus scandal and the investigation of General John Allen. Her background and her connection to two of America's top generals is under enormous scrutiny right now. Seeing as Ed Lavendero is joining us from Tampa, Ed, questions are emerging about Jill Kelly's finances, the charity she was running. You've been looking into this. You're investigating. What are you learning? Well, Wolf, it's another confusing layer to this story when you're trying to paint the picture of just who Jill Kelly is and uh, the circles that she ran around here. We've taken a closer look at the finances uh, swirling around here here in recent years after her and her husband moved down here to the Tampa area. We've learned uh, through court records that uh, the home that she has in this upscale neighborhood of Tampa on a Bayshore Boulevard overlooking a beautiful bay has been in foreclosure since 2010, as well as another investment property in downtown Tampa uh, that uh, they've had foreclosure issues as well. And there's an almost 10 lawsuits involving uh, the Kelly's finances, including uh, from credit card companies uh, that, that say that they, they are owed more than $300,000 uh, from the couple. What all of this may or may not have to do with uh, the, sto the story around the, surrounding the, the general scandal uh, is up in the air, but it's just another one of these confusing layers to this already very confusing story. Well, and what about uh, Jill Kelly's uh, uh, thinking that she was entitled to some sort of diplomatic protection? Oh, yeah, we, we got a hold of this 911 phone call that apparently she made after her name had started surfering, surfacing and reporters were going to her house looking for comment. She called a 911 operator. Listen to what she told them. I'm an honorary consul general, so I have inviolability, so um, I should, they should not be able to cross my property. I don't know if you want to get diplomatic. Uh, protection involved as well, but now they possess against a lot of cost my properties since this is now like, you know, um, it's inviolable. All right, no problem. I'll let the officers know. Thank you. And again, you know, another kind of bizarre twist. She had this honorary consular title that uh, was given to her from the South Korean government. She's been very involved in, in charity uh, work here in, in the Tampa area uh, for, for many years since she moved down here. Uh, but, of course, any kind of official privilege like that would not have been anything uh, that she would have qualified for, according to you know various people we've spoken with today. Well, so much bizarre going on here, and we're going to have a lot more later coming up on this, including the fact that uh, both General Petraeus and General Allen wrote separate letters to a judge urging that judge to allow uh, Jill Kelly's twin sister to have custody of a son. Uh, how they got involved in a custody battle uh, is way, way uh, up in the air right now. Lots of, uh, lots of questions on that front as well. We'll have much more on this story coming up. Uh, but there's other major news we're following right now. Serious news in the Middle East. Israel responding to rocket fire with airstrikes, naval shelling, killing a top uh, extremist leader in Gaza. Why Hamas is now warning that the, quote, gates of hell are now open.